Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. A question came up in one of my trainings this week. Is it possible to hide one or more of the elements in a data table attached to a chart? And the answer is yes, and in this video I'll show you how to do it. So here's the scenario. Excellent Ice Cream run a training school teaching people how to make ice cream. Each year the team are set two targets, a training delivery target, which is the percentage of the working week that they should be delivering training, and a feedback target, which relates to the feedback surveys that are submitted by people attending the training. So for example, we can see in March the team fell slightly short in training delivery, but beat their feedback target. The chart here is a combo chart. The actual for both training delivery and feedback are represented by the columns. The targets for training delivery and feedback are represented by lines. Below the chart is a data table and below that is the legend, which to be honest isn't very useful, but that's because of the way the headings have been set up. The person who asked the question wanted to hide the targets from the data table but keep them on the chart and that's what I'm going to show you. So let's switch over to sheet two, where I've got a partly completed chart. To add the data table, click on the chart, click the plus sign at the top right and put a tick against data table. To remove the two target entries from the data table, I need to select C5 to C17. You'll notice I've included the heading and also E5 to E17. To be able to select two blocks of cells that are not next to each other, I need to hold the control key down on the keyboard while selecting the second set of data. With those cells selected, I'll go to the drop down arrow in the number section on the home tab and select more number formats, click on custom and in the box just above the scroll list, just under the word type, delete out the word general and type three semicolons and click OK. The three semicolons means hide the cell contents. Yes, I know that has an impact on the visibility of the data in the worksheet. But in this case, the aim is to produce a chart and the data in columns B to F is the means to an end, the end being the chart. So now because we've hidden the data in the spreadsheet, it's also hidden on the chart, but we've still got the colors there. So to hide those, click the edge of the chart to select it, click the plus sign, hover over data table, click the arrow just to the right and select no legend keys. That's just step one. We've still got the borders to remove the borders click on more options and take the three ticks out of the border settings. To remove the words actual from the data table, click on D5, hold the control key down and click on F5. So that selects those two cells and apply formatting as I did before, custom formatting three semicolons. To remove the actual legend, as I said earlier, it's not particularly useful. It doesn't show us anything. I'm going to click onto the legend and press the delete key on the keyboard. If I want to hide the actual data from the spreadsheet, I'll select columns B to F and then right click and select hide. Now, the only problem with that is that when you build a chart from hidden data, by default, the data is hidden on the chart as well. So to bring that back, select the chart and click on chart design, select data, hidden and empty cells and tick the box that says show data in hidden rows and columns and click on OK. So hopefully that answers the question on how to hide one or more elements on a data table that's attached to a chart. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and make sure that you subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know using the comments below.
I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips and tricks to help you become more productive with Excel. And you can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.